news strategist Noel McCor from the right and Fox News contributor Ellis Hennigan from the left. Thank you, guys. You went spirited? No, what? what, <laughs> what am I, where am I wrong, Ellis? Where, what don't I get? Why is the AFL-CIO saying, hey, you know what? I have a problem with Arizona law. Because I think they represent an awful lot of Latino members, and they feel like they're going to be victims. Every legal? Time some cop, legal? Legal, and maybe even some that aren't. But every time a cop has a whim in his head and thinks he has a little suspicion, he's going to be harassing their workers. There's a reason almost every major Latino group in this country is opposed Ellis, to this Ellis, law. They're you're, not stupid. You're, 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 doing, not you're stupid. saying the exact same thing. We had a guest last night standing in your exact spot oh, saying we were both right. the cops are going to do this. Well, if they do that, they're breaking the law. Well, you know what, though? It's a judgment call that we were asking police officers to make that frankly they're not trained to make this is not what police officers are no well oh. is that fair to the arizona police well, you know, look you guys this lawsuit basically states to arizona and to everybody that the obama administration cares more about racial profiling and political correctness than they do about securing the border oh. We need it oh. secured. And you know what? The feds weren't doing such a great job, so Arizona had to step in. And now Jan Brewer, the governor of Arizona, is having to raise money to defend herself for this lawsuit. The That's the reason, government Noel, working together in bipartisanship? The, the I don't reason think so. that we need the comprehensive reform that the labor folks are concerned about is both of those values are important. Border security is important and living up to our American values of fairness and decency. That's why this well, debate is so silly, you know because you guys only want one hey, part hey, of that. Hey, you know what Obama's answer was in the beginning? To send 1,200 you, National Guardsmen did, unarmed down there? You no, know well, did you see his comprehensive proposal? He said border security and a reasonable path to citizenship. My concern, and a Ellis, to my concern people. here is this comprehensive um, reform that right. everyone's Against asking that. for. Well, I'm against it if it allows that. amnesty for the 13, no, 14, or 15 not, million that's illegals. Loaded, that's a loaded word. What we're talking about, what we're talking about, what we're talking about, there are 12 million or so people in this country. Nobody thinks we're going to send them home. Illegal. 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 They broke the Illegal. law. But no, there's no practical way to send them home. Let's find a way to make them part of our system, pay taxes, raise their families properly. All decent Americans can understand that. I know but you they, guys can. They broke the law. So what are you going to do? Well, you've got to figure out you a solution. Think you think you can send them all home? In the meantime, what do we do about the people just that coming over and coming over repeatedly? Well, I'll give you a plan. What do you do? The What's Obama administration has a great plan. It involves, what is paying, that? it involves paying fines and back taxes and this, getting Ellis. to the end of let the law. Let me, let me uh, uh, allow You're me You're against that? Allow no. me this. Allow me this. Um, let's say there is some sort of amnesty program that allows. Here's you're here for. Word. You're here for. Okay, well, so, the there there, it's so there is. So there is. Does that make our border tighter or more? Let's choose. Two separate equations. It's so not. Border security. It's not. Border security. We need to do with 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 uh, personnel and fences and a whole bunch of stuff. What we do with the 12 million people here is a practical question. We practical. can't send them home. No, here's the question: If 12 million illegals are allowed to stay, isn't that just going to incite another 12 million to come over? They're yeah. being rewarded for bad behavior. Enough mm, said. They is, broke the law. Life is tough. You Why do you have a reality. nonchalant attitude about it? Because you can't do anything about it. There's no well, way oh, you really? wouldn't want to send them home if the you problem. could. You that's be, the you attitude. Know, you'd be paying $40 for that plate of pasta. What am I paying now when they go to the emergency if, room and they're if, illegal if, and they don't have health care? If, if one of those AFL-CIO guys is busting your table, it'd probably be $55. Let me ask you, we're going to run out of time real quick. But but <laughs> these illegals are illegal aliens, illegal immigrants are taking a lower wage than people legally here in the country. How can our friend Mr. Acuff tell us, no, that's okay, leave them in here. It's not going to drag down my, my union members' wages. Listen, he wants to represent them all in the end. He wants them all in the union eventually. Why, Why is that? Why is that? Why does he want to re represent design? every illegal? Hey, he Obama wants to represent everybody. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nora. Obama probably wants all these illegals to have uh, citizenship so that they can be potential voters for him. Oh, in fact, I love, I love Republicans <laughs> alienating Latinos because that's working out real well for them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it is it not feasible that Mr. Obama wants to allow amnesty? It's I, I would assume they would have, they would vote Democratic Why if that were the case. That? Well, would, won't, wouldn't you? Yeah, because one answer? party is looking out for their interests and the other is pandering about them. Right. Are they no, going to be Democrats no, for three generations? Oh, you know, I love how Obama says and his administration says that the <laughs> Republican Party is standing in the way of progress. Right. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Noel McCoy <laughs> and Ellis Hennigan, thank you guys.